Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, bonjour à tous. Uh, Ronia Pola, queretes moseolus. It's great to be with you all to celebrate the 200th anniversary of Greece's independence. A big thank you to the co chairs, Emanuela and Julie, uh, the whole Can Canada Hellenic Republic Parliamentary Friendship Group for setting up today's event. Uh, and of course, let me recognize first off a very special guest with us this afternoon, Prime Minister Mitsotakis. Uh, Kiriakos, my friend, it is so great to see you, to have you here with us. It really is, uh, it underlines the strength of the uh, Greek Canadian community that you would take uh, time this, uh, this Sunday afternoon evening for you uh, to join with us. It is really, really touching. But I'll tell you, uh, I, would, uh, I would love in different circumstances to be actually welcoming you to, uh, uh, to, to where I am not only the local prime minister, but also the local MP, uh, because it it is my writing in which the most important Greek uh, uh, parade and celebration of independence always happens. Uh, and it's been happening obviously longer than I've been in politics, but uh, for the past 12 years, even from when I was just a candidate, uh, walking alongside my, my dear friend, Mary Deros, who is here, uh, here today as well, uh, along with so many others of you. Um, it, it, it was, it's, it's a, a, an incredibly important celebration for me, uh, for the Greek community, and for our country. Uh, I, I will say, however, that the fact that it be virtual today means that we're not all freezing cold and getting wet, uh, because the weather certainly didn't co cooperate uh, today. But uh, to have you here with us, uh, Kyriakos, uh, is a fitting testament to the ties of people, of heritage, and of common values that for generations have brought our two countries together. La communauté grecque du Canada est un pilier de notre société. Les Canadiens d'origine grecque enrichissent notre culture, nos entreprises et les domaines de l'innovation, des sciences et bien sûr des arts. Euh, cette communauté a renforcé nos liens avec la Grèce et ça nous permettra de travailler ensemble pour bâtir un meilleur avenir pour tous les gens de Montréal, d'Athènes, du Canada et de la Grèce et de, de la planète entière. Uh, so normally we would be gathering in person today, uh, and not only for the parade, but to be able to stop into all the different uh, associations to uh, uh, to see you, to to share a few moments, uh, and uh, and really get along, uh, because it is something that unfortunately for the past two years, uh, this year and last year, we've had to celebrate virtually, uh, but the ability to come together is uh, is still extremely important because uh, even if the weather isn't as warm as we'd like it to be, the sense of community shines so bright. Uh, and every year that spirit, that warmth is something, uh, uh, something we need this year more than ever. L'année dernière, on était confronté à un défi sans précédent et cette communauté s'est montrée à la hauteur. Les valeurs familiales ont toujours été au, à, au cœur de l'identité gréco-canadienne et vous avez tous incarné ces valeurs au cours de la dernière année. En étant là pour nos voix voisins, pour faire des courses, pour les travailleurs de première ligne, que vous restiez à la maison pour la sécurité des autres, merci. Thank you all for everything this community has done to lean on each other, to be there for each other through this difficult year. Uh, but year in and year out, uh, it's an incredibly strong community that, uh, that is, uh, has taught me so much about politics and about strength uh, that it is delightful to be able to be with you now uh, because you really show us that we can overcome all these obstacles together. Um, we've been meeting each other in person at the Independence day parades for decades, uh, but if even if we can't walk together this year, uh, if we can't share the music and the dancing in person, uh, we're still celebrating strongly today. These incredible contributions of Canadians of Greek descent and everything that this community does to make our country stronger are always worth celebrating. As I uh, look through the screens today of everyone joining us, it's so good to see so many old friends, uh, past uh, uh, elected uh, uh, officials from Christos uh, to others, uh, uh, to community leaders like uh, uh, Nick and John and former leaders of the Hellenic Canadian Congress, uh, to current leaders who are, uh, are, are there for us in so many different ways. Thank you all uh, for being such strong, uh, strong community members, not just within uh, this community, but right across the country. It is uh, such a pleasure to celebrate with you all. And of course, uh, to raise a big uh, shout of Zito, Zito e Elada, Zito Canada. Merci, Madame Le Marchandeur, um, dear Prime Minister um, of um, uh, Canada, dear Justin, 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, dear Emanuela, dear Julie, it is such an honor and a privilege to be able to uh, participate uh, in this virtual uh, celebration of what is indeed a very, very special day uh, for all Greeks, but also I know uh, for all Canadians uh, of Greek uh, origin. Uh, last uh, Thursday, we had the privilege of celebrating 200 years um, uh, since the beginning of the Greek War uh, of Independence. Uh, it was indeed uh, a very, very uh, moving ceremony. Uh, I think we felt uh, proud, truly proud about what we have achieved uh, as a nation. But at the same time, um, um, uh, dear Justin, you know that these times are times of, uh, of reflection. Uh, it is an opportunity to look at our history, how a, uh, what essentially was a province uh, of the Ottoman Empire uh, succeeded uh, in becoming a fully Western, modern country that shares the same uh, democratic um, values um, with, uh, with Canada. Uh, and I would like to pay particular tribute to the um, Canadian, Greek Canadian community, to the 300,000 Canadians um, of Greek origin, of Greek um, descent, um, who cherish their origin while at the same time uh, feeling proudly uh, Canadians. And I know, Justin, how much you have always contributed and how much, with how much enthusiasm you have always participated uh, in uh, the annual um, Montreal um, uh, parade uh, even before you became uh, a prime minister. And I know that uh, you're a true friend of Greece uh, uh, and uh, you value this. Uh, a particular um, uh, relationship, uh, and uh, it is a great uh, honor for me to be able to um, uh, participate uh, in this uh, virtual uh, event. Our two countries have so much um, uh, in, uh, in common, and uh, the Greek Canadian uh, community is always there to um, uh, remind us uh, of our common bonds. Uh, and one of the first uh, priorities that uh, I um, set when I took over as Prime Minister 20 months ago was to strengthen uh, the bonds of, of Greece with uh, uh, our diaspora. Uh, and we have taken numerous um, uh, initiatives on many fronts. Uh, uh, on the digital front, we've tried to always make it much easier for Greeks abroad to um, uh, stay in touch with the Greek state. Uh, I know our consulates uh, have in time been particularly bureaucratic, but technology is offering us a, a new opportunity um, uh, to interact with the Greek state whenever that is uh, necessary. Uh, in a seamless uh, manner without uh, having to undergo the usual uh, bureaucratic pain. Um, uh, we've also taken uh, the uh, initiative to allow for at least those Greeks who left the country uh, during the financial crisis to vote um, uh, from uh, their permanent place of residence. Um, uh, uh, until we passed this legislation, everyone had to return to Greece to be able to vote for those Greeks who, um, who lived abroad. Now they have the possibility to actually participate uh, in Greek political affairs without making uh, this long journey. We have set up uh, um, new digital platforms um, uh, to help uh, second, third generation um, uh, um, uh, Greeks um, uh, uh, or Canadians, uh, uh, Americans, Australians, who their mother language is English to stay in touch uh, with the Greek language uh, and use technology um, uh, to, to learn um, uh, Greek and uh, to stay uh, in touch with, uh, uh, with our country of origin. We always try to uh, encourage, especially uh, young people, uh, young Canadians, to travel to Greece um, uh, during the summer and experience their country uh, of origin. And I know that for those um, uh, children, teenagers who, who make the trip, this first trip to Greece is always a very, very, also a very, very special place uh, in, uh, in their hearts. So there's so much more we can do um, uh, to strengthen uh, um, uh, uh, our bonds, uh, the bonds between our two country, uh, uh, countries. And of course, uh, um, uh, Greek Canadians are the natural bridge, um, uh, dear Justin, that um, uh, bring us um, uh, together. And it is a special, again, a special honor for me, able to, for me to be able to participate. Uh, in this uh, virtual uh, event uh, celebrating what is indeed a very special uh, moment um, uh, for our country. My last introductory observation is that Greece doesn't just have uh, a, you know, a glorious uh, past, uh, it has a very, very promising future. Uh, we've um, left the years of the crisis behind us. 
Uh, this is a country that uh, exudes a new sense of uh, uh, self-confidence. Uh, I'm absolutely convinced that once the pandemic uh, is over, uh, the Greek economy is going to uh, grow um, uh, significantly above the EU average. And I'm glad, dear Justin, that uh, many Canadian companies uh, will be part um, of this success story. We have very significant Canadian investments uh, in, uh, uh, in Greece, and I would encourage uh, more Canadians to look at Greece uh, as an investment opportunity. Uh, very recently, we had the opportunity to unblock a uh, major investment by Eldorado um, uh, Gold and to sign a new agreement uh, with a company which uh, opens a prospect for significant job creation uh, in, uh, in northern Greece. And this could just be the beginning of a very fruitful cooperation uh, also uh, on the uh, economic front. So we want Canadians, but in particular uh, Canadians of Greek um, origin, to be part in Greece's uh, success story. Uh, and uh, I do hope that uh, uh, at some point in the future, why not maybe in 2022, when we will be able to physically um, celebrate uh, uh, Greek Independence Day, that I can also be part of your wonderful celebrations. We haven't been able to, uh, to have them, as you said, dear Justin, for two years, so I'm sure the next one is going to be spectacular. So maybe why not we can have the opportunity to celebrate together. Again, thank you so much. Je vous remercie for uh, including me uh, in this um, uh, wonderful virtual event. So, Prime Minister Trudeau, uh, you've been actively involved in our community. We hear this time and time again. You say it yourself. We hear the testimony. Can you share some of your favorite uh, memories uh, from your involvement with the Greek community? Oh, thank you, Annie, and, and thank you for your uh, your leadership. It's so great to have you uh, as uh, one of our many uh, Greek uh, Greek origin MPs uh, in the House of Commons. Uh, uh, a number of others, but I would be remiss if I if I pretended they were all liberals. I know uh, uh, Nikki Ashton is also a very proud member of the Hellenic Canadian community, and it's great to have uh, uh, her celebrating with us uh, today. Um, I I, uh, I want to to just say that that the it's hard for me to detach uh, the, the, the Hellenic community in Montreal and in Papineau from my political career in, in every different way. My, my very first uh, time in any sort of political event was in the spring of, God, it was 2000 seven. Um, and it was selling memberships uh, for the Liberal Party at the Greek parade, uh, it, it, the Independence Parade along Jean Talon. You know, it has become so much a thing for me to keep me grounded, even though I'm Prime Minister for the whole country. Uh, being a local MP and being close to this community is so important. And quite frankly, it's a great way for me uh, to, to gather and to meet with so many different people from across the greater island of Montreal because everyone comes home to Park X, uh, where the churches are, uh, where Panama and Tripoli, and most importantly, Marvin's for the best, uh, best calamari in the city, uh, and quite frankly, perhaps in the country, but we'll have to have you uh, uh, test it out. I know the boys at Marvin's will uh, take good care of you, Kiriakos, if uh, ever I could get to host my, my second state dinner uh, at, uh, at Marvin's. Uh, and wait till you see the place. It's just, uh, there's a big moose head on the wall. It's just an iconic Canadian uh, bit of Canadiana. But for for me, uh, to be able to go through all the different, uh, all the different uh, uh, associations, you, know, you, you walk down the street, you, you stop into Aphrodite for some pastries, you, you go to Partek, Park X Flowers, where uh, my friend Ari uh, will take good care of you. Uh, but more importantly, you drop in on all the different community associations where uh, everyone's gathered from across the island, celebrating, uh, reflecting on, uh, on uh, how the parade was and how the day is, and I get to come in uh, and, uh, and say hi to everyone that sense of community uh, that is so apparent on, uh, on this day of celebration, uh, but that is, is so present every single day. Uh, the, the pride uh, that, uh, that everyone has as the, as the schools gather together, as the kids come together and demonstrate uh, you know, their, their pride in their culture and the understanding that to be a proud Canadian takes absolutely nothing away uh, from uh, your pride in being of Hellenic origin. And that in Canada, you get to wear them both equally and strongly, and nobody has to choose uh, about their backgrounds, that we layer on identities, uh, English, French, Greek, and everything else is one of the strengths of our country. And 
that is something that the Hellenic community in Papineau and, and in Montreal in general taught me about politics. Uh, and that is, is a memory that is at the core of who I am as a politician. I wonder to Greece's diaspora community, of which I'm a proud member, what can we do here in Canada, our diaspora community, to help to facilitate further cultural and economic ties between two countries that already enjoy an excellent relationship, but one that I think could be enhanced uh, by the diaspora focusing uh, on Greece uh, and, and uh, doing even more to contribute to the economic and cultural links that exist. First of all, as you, uh, as you spoke, uh, Justin, I think it, it, is, it is so moving that you, uh, you recognize uh, uh, all these proud and very successful uh, Canadians of, of Greek origin that are clearly part of your uh, community. And I must say that uh, I, I, I admire uh, what Canada has achieved in, in terms of uh, allowing people to be proud about their multiple identities, feeling Canadian, because that's what you are, but also very proud about your uh, origin, be it, uh, you know, Greek, um, French, German, uh, or, uh, you know, the other important, um, you know, co communities that have taken permanent um, uh, residence in, in Canada. And, uh, you know, I was, I, I was thinking, and I think it is important in this event, not just to honor everyone who's participating, but your, your parents and your grandparents, those who actually made the trip. Uh, in very, very difficult circumstances when they left, uh, you know, a, a relatively poor country to seek a better future for themselves and for their children and how hard they worked uh, to be able to be um, successful and to be able to offer their, uh, their children a, um, uh, a better future. And they have clearly um, uh, succeeded. But uh, answering your, uh, your question, uh, Peter, I think the most important thing uh, that, we, that we can do, especially when we talk about second or third generation uh, Canadians of Greek origin, uh, is to make sure that we have the institutions in place that keep the, the bonds between uh, our two countries and our two cultures uh, intact. I place particular emphasis on language. It is very important for, uh, for the young kids uh, to, to learn the language, to speak it as well uh, as they can. Uh, as you know, we always try to send um, uh, teachers uh, abroad to help with, uh, uh, with the schools, wherever we have uh, big diasporas. But I fundamentally believe that technology is offering us uh, you know, a, uh, a, a, you know, the opportunity to, to learn gr Greek and, and to interact with, um, with the Greek language, with the Greek history and with the Greek culture uh, in a way that was clearly not available to the, uh, to the previous uh, uh, generation. Uh, so for me, strengthening these cultural ties, making sure that people actually do travel um, uh, to their country of origin, uh, making sure that uh, we set aside some funding to allow for the young children or the teenagers to travel um, uh, to Greece and experience what Greece is, is really all about. Uh, for me, that is of paramount importance. Uh, I think it is also uh, uh, important that uh, you, you do take an interest in what is happening uh, uh, in Greece in the political and in the economic sphere. And I always believed that um, Greeks who were part, of, who are part of the global diaspora, probably have a clearer view of what is happening in, in Greece. Uh, they're not, you know, part of the, you know, of the, the heated political debate in our country. They, uh, I think, they can take a more macroscopic approach as to what uh, Greece really um, uh, requires. So their contribution uh, is is particularly valuable. Uh, and for me also, you know, economic ties, you know, be it, you know, refurbishing your home house uh, or purchasing, uh, you know, a property or taking the additional step of making an investment uh, in Greece. This is also something that is further strengthening um, the, the ties between uh, our um, uh, two uh, communities. And again, uh, this, is a, this is a good time for Greece because we are exiting a, a very dark and difficult period. Uh, we went through uh, essentially a crisis uh, um, of, of, of momentous proportions. We almost lost a decade, uh, but um, now we are much more resilient, uh, much more focused on our future. We've dealt with, um, uh, with COVID um, um, uh, probably um, uh, better than many people expected us to, to deal with COVID. And I think we've also built a new relationship of trust between what the Greek state uh, can and should do for Greek citizens and what Greek citizens actually expect uh, uh, from the state, which I think is, uh, is of particular uh, importance. Uh, so um, uh, there's a lot um, um, uh, you can do, but for me, if I were to, 
rank my number one priority that is keep, you know, keep the language alive. If the language is alive, then the customs, um, it's so much easier to participate in the, in, in, in the local customs. It's so much easier to, to, to get more out of your church experience. And let me also you know, highlight uh, you know, the particular uh, role that uh, the church plays, the Orthodox Church, uh, in, uh, uh, in keeping the spirit of the diaspora uh, 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 alive. Uh, uh, and one should not forget that uh, um, uh, the revolution uh, uh, 200 years ago essentially started in a monastery under the auspices of the, uh, of the Greek church that always played an instrumental role in preserving the Greek identity during you know, the hundreds of years uh, we were under Ottoman um, uh, rule, but also making, uh, m making sure uh, that uh, it uh, you know, followed the evolution uh, uh, of, um, uh, of the Greek state and always offered its uh, support uh, uh, towards uh, you know, a better future for the country. I've noticed that there are many similarities between both of you. And, and um, tout d'abord, vous êtes tous les deux des fils d'anciens premiers ministres. <laughs> Mais surtout, uh, vous êtes tous les deux d'ardents défenseurs d'un certain nombre de questions importantes auxquelles nous sommes actuellement confrontés aujourd'hui. De l'égalité des sexes, au changement climatique, comment deux jeunes premiers ministres progressistes comme vous peuvent-ils trouver un terrain d'entente et devenir les défenseurs mondiaux de ces questions importantes? Uh, although, my, you know, Kyriakos, you're, uh, uh, you're Greek, uh, your uh, you're French is much better than my Greek, so uh, we're, uh, we're, we're good to stick in English. Um, first of all, I think one of the really interesting things uh, I found, and I, and I know, uh, uh, Kyriakos, you probably have the same perspective, is uh, having had uh, a parent in politics, uh, in, in our cases, uh, uh, fathers, um, gives you a bit of a more of a long-term perspective on politics, that it's the big things that matters. Like like in so many jobs, uh, the you're always filled with what is urgent. Oh, you got to respond to this. Oh, you got to respond to that. It's quick, quick, quick. You have to take... But the ability to see things over multiple generations, the ability to see some of the things that my father did that might not have seemed like the most important things at the time, which actually ended up having a legacy that, that matters as much today as it ever did. Things like multiculturalism, Official Languages Act, uh, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Well, we, we all knew it was gonna be important when he did it, but, but the things that last, are not necessarily the things that are most important in the given day. And having an ability to step back a little bit and think about those long-term impacts of the decisions you make on a daily basis and understanding the importance, therefore, of getting the big things right. Uh, and I know through uh, many, many conversations uh, uh, with, uh, with Kyriakos that uh, where we stand, as you pointed out, Emanuela, on the big issues of, uh, of, 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 of uh, gender equality, uh, of recognition of diversity is incredibly important, of the fight against climate change, of building inclusive economies where everyone has a real and fair chance to succeed. These are the things that matter the most, much more than what the headlines one day will say or what the polling the next day will say. And being able to, to have a, a sense of history, which of course the Greek community is, uh, is so, uh, so apt to remind us of, uh, of the very origins of democracy uh, uh, anytime we talk politics with any Hellenic Canadian. Um, you know, these are the things that, that help you move forward in a way that, you know, yes, it's an advantage to have had family members in politics, uh, but it's an advantage that you have to be able to understand comes with both a responsibility and no excuses for not thinking long term. What do you think, Kiriakos? Well, uh, I, I, I couldn't agree more with you, um, uh, Justin. I think for, you know, uh, we, we grew up in, um, in political families, you know, it was never a, a given for both of us that we would enter politics, it was a conscious choice that we, um, uh, that we made. Uh, and people sometimes, you know, don't recognize that, uh, you know, there are some obviously obvious advantages when you come from a political family, but there are also some disadvantages that, you know, the bar is, is set much, uh, uh, much higher. Uh, but I think we are totally aware uh, uh, of the weight of the responsibility of the office. Uh, and uh, as you said, of, you know, our importance to be able to distinguish, to distinguish between what is urgent and what is, uh, and, and what is truly uh, important. Uh, and uh, in, in that sense, uh, in terms of our agendas, 
I think we do have a lot, lots of things in common. Uh, I would like to very much congratulate you on, you know, on the steps you have taken uh, on issues such as gender equality. We are clearly not there yet in Greece, but it is an important issue uh, on uh, on our agenda. Uh, but in terms of the, you know, the challenges that we will be facing um, uh, post-COVID, you know, uh, your leadership on climate change, uh, it is a, an issue we can only tackle um, uh, through collective action. Uh, we have uh, uh, taken very bold initiatives to move away from uh, fossil fuels uh, in terms of our uh, electricity uh, production, uh, and we sort of raised, you know, expectations that we will be able. Uh, to, to perform in this difficult path towards uh, uh, you know, a carbon neutral uh, economy uh, and we need to learn from each other, uh, look at what works and what doesn't and make sure that we put pressure uh, on, on those countries uh, that uh, are not yet fully committed um, to the global goals that we have all uh, set. And I think uh, we have uh, clearly a role to play uh, in terms of uh, building strong alliances when it comes to climate change. I would also like to particularly focus uh, on this concept of inclusive growth, which I think is, is very important for you know, liberal politicians such as uh, yourself and, uh, and myself, especially post-COVID, post we need to be certain that there, there's not a new generation of, uh, of, of winners and, uh, and losers. Uh, COVID made it very clear that you can be a big believer in free market economy, but there are times when the state needs to step in uh, and needs to uh, literally um, intervene when there, is, uh, when there are issues which uh, uh, clearly uh, private markets cannot uh, address. Uh, and I think we, we all learned uh, about the value of having a national health system uh, that is able to, um, uh, to offer um, uh, free care, uh, free quality care um, uh, to, um, uh, to everyone. I think this is you know, an important legacy of COVID uh, that is going to stay uh, with us. But uh, I'm particularly concerned about uh, you know, the, the young um, uh, generation. Uh, I, I do sense that sometimes they may perceive themselves to be you know, uh, coming out as, uh, you know, as, uh, as losers from all this momentous change that is, that is really happening. Uh, and I think our obligation when we think long term is to really focus uh, on these um, young people and, and making sure that the inclusive growth that we envision actually uh, is relevant to them. Uh, uh, this is a different generation. Um, uh, they, they think differently. Um, uh, uh, we need to speak their, uh, their language and I think this is going to be uh, you know, a very, very uh, important challenge for us uh, uh, going forward to make sure that we make um, uh, politics and public service uh, relevant to that uh, uh, generation, to convince them uh, that it is important to participate uh, in the public debate, not just by making good use of social media, but that there is no substitute at the end um, uh, for you know, politics the way, you know, the, the way our fathers did politics, the way we do politics, uh, and the way probably our children will do politics, because at the end of the day, there is no substitute to human interaction, no matter how many uh, Zoom uh, um, uh, calls we, uh, we, we make, we still need to be able to interact physically uh, with people um, and listen to them and demonstrate that we really care about uh, their concerns. Um, we, we, we've covered a lot of ground in this conversation. It's been really interesting, and I thank you both. But before we leave this conversation, um, I wanted to give a chance uh, for both of you to share any final thoughts. And maybe if we can start with you, Prime Minister Mitsotakis, and then we'll be able to ask the Prime Minister Trudeau if you have anything else that you would like to add. Well, I would just like to thank you once uh, more for giving me the opportunity uh, to uh, interact uh, uh, with the Greek Canadian uh, community. I would just like to reiterate how um, important it is for me to see you know, proud Canadians of Greek origin um, cherish uh, their national uh, identity, celebrate with Greeks uh, in Greece, what is indeed a very um, important uh, year for all of us, uh, and it is extremely encouraging. Uh, when I see um, our Greek diaspora uh, everywhere, but in particular in Canada, to be so interested uh, in what is happening uh, in our uh, country. Um, it, again, if, uh, we have not done uh, a, a great job uh, in the past to leverage the strength of our global um, uh, diaspora. Uh, so uh, there's opportunity to do uh, much more. 
Uh, and I do hope that maybe you know some of the thoughts and ideas that uh, we shared in this brief discussion uh, will act as a as a stimulus uh, to to contemplate how we can further uh, work together. I would like to uh, reiterate to to Justin that he has an open invitation to visit uh, uh, Greece, uh, you know, post um, uh, post COVID, and that I'm looking forward to further strengthen uh, our bilateral uh, relationship, which is clearly going from uh, strength uh, to strength. And, and from my part, let me just start by saying it's uh, it's just so nice to be able to uh, to chat with you again, Kriakos. Uh, we're, uh, uh, we're so busy, rightly so, dealing with, uh, with our domestic challenges around COVID that uh, being able to connect with dear friends uh, on the other side of the world and talk about how uh, we do need to work together to rebuild and to make sure we're learning lessons uh, uh, that resonate the right way as we as we move towards a future that we've we've uh, all uh, learned some uh, some uh, difficult things about our countries that uh, we need to improve on and that's certainly the the commitment that uh, progressive leaders like you and and I and others are uh, are very much focused on because the world that just got an awful lot smaller uh, because of covid-19 in a whole bunch of different ways and we have to be uh, more responsible about how we engage with uh, all of our neighbors and colleagues around the world so so it's, uh, it's great to chat with you, and I, I look forward to uh, uh, seeing you hopefully in person again soon. Um, you know, I was, I, was, I was thinking about this, this Zoom meeting, and obviously with the cold and wet day it is outside, it's, a, it's an obvious advantage that uh, we're meeting on Zoom uh, instead of seeing each other in person, although I, I can tell you that uh, inside the various associations, I know it would be uh, warm and dry and uh, the mythos would be uh, running, uh, running freely. Uh, so uh, I'll have to uh, raise a cheers to you all uh, virtually on this one. But one of the nice things is with Zoom is you get to, to scan through and see so many old friends. As I talk about uh, crisscrossing uh, the community in Park Extension, uh, I would do it with uh, with my dear friend Saki uh, Atanasios, who is uh, uh, is with us here. And I'm just sorry I, I can't be with you today, Sak, uh, but I'm, I'm thinking of you. And we'd be stopping into places like uh, Filia to see uh, to see Joanna Tsublekas uh, and the incredible volunteer work uh, done for uh, for seniors. And there's so many community leaders uh, on this call that I, I can't uh, start shouting out to everyone, but I will uh, remind everyone that uh, uh, Stavrula in my office is, is there to be a, a resource for all community uh, uh, members uh, and, uh, and organizations that need support of their federal MP uh, staff. It's great to have you on here. Uh, but in case I'm giving people the wrong, uh, the wrong impression that uh, Montreal is the only place where there is a strong and passionate Greek community, obviously Peter uh, uh, would, uh, would point out the great community in, in, uh, in London and in uh, uh, and across the GTA where uh, Julie de Bruyne is uh, so centered, but uh, even across in Vancouver, my friends uh, uh, Nick and Marie Panos, uh, who are extraordinary community leaders, would be pointing out that there is uh, a Greek diaspora incredibly proud right across the country that is a real uh, strength of, of, of strength, uh, source of strength uh, for all Canadians. Uh, your leadership, not just within the Greek community, but within Canadian community in general uh, as Greek Canadians is uh, extraordinary. Uh, I see lots of friends on here and uh, the opportunity to engage with you virtually today uh, is absolutely lovely. Uh, but I really, really look forward to seeing you all in person. Uh, and uh, and uh, I look forward to us getting all through this. In the meanwhile, we all have to stay safe and stay careful. Uh, this third wave is out there, even as uh, vaccines are arriving, uh, we need to be careful. And uh, uh, mostly uh, for all the political support you've given me uh, and all that you've taught me about democracy and community uh, uh, community strength uh, over the past many years. Merci beaucoup, mes amis, et uh, uh, bonne, bonne journée de l'indépendance grecque.